The biggest mobile and telecommunications trade show hosted in Europe took place this week. The 2024 edition of the Mobile World Congress took place in Barcelona, bringing over thousands of, of firms from 200 countries. For more, we have our business correspondent Moon Hedion here in the studio. Welcome, Hedion. Thanks for having me, Tani. So, Hedion, let's start with the theme. What was the central theme at this year's MWC? So, Tami, the overarching theme at MWC this year was Future First. It embodies six different sub-themes such as 5G and AI and stretches beyond the mobile industry to digital transformation overall. Last year's theme was also centered around AI, but here's what was said about the difference between last year and this year. A lot of interactions or, or applications around 5G, AI and platforms and how these three things can work together to provide a service or a solution to you as a consumer or to you as a businesses that is different from what it was before. So this year it was all about how different technologies, products and services can work together for future digital innovation. So AI again taking center stage at this year's MWC, except it's being implemented in all corners of our lives. Then what were some of the interesting reveals that uh, showcased at this year's? Well, Tami, leading on from my previous point, there were several AI-related products and services that were introduced at this year's MWC. Google CEO announced the relaunch of its AI image generation tool, Gemini, and several mobile companies showcased their smartphones with integrated AI technology. One of these was Chinese tech firm Xiaomi, which did not participate in the CES event last month, but chose to launch global sales of its Xiaomi 14 line in Barcelona this week. It integrates AI technology for searching photos, translation services, and taking meeting notes. But as this year's event takes the technology further than just mobiles, another product integrating AI that caught people's eyes despite being transparent was Lenovo's new laptop. The see-through screen with a camera attached enables users to view an object located behind the computer and find out information about it using built-in artificial intelligence which analyzes the image. So Chinese firms made a huge comeback after their absence at CES and also that fully transparent laptop looks really sleek. Yes, it really does. Now, then what do South Korean firms or what did South Korean firms have to bring at this year's MWC then? So South Korean firms also brought their A-game to the event with tech giant Samsung Electronics unveiling its latest line of wearable tech, the Galaxy Ring, which tracks health data while you sleep. It's yet to hit the shelves, but the firm displayed the Galaxy Ring in three different colors and nine different sizes at the event. Telecommunications companies KT and SK Telecom set up AI-related booths this year and demonstrated a wide range of services. KT showed its intelligent urban air mobility traffic management system that assists in the safe operation of urban air mobility vehicles. UATM digitally re replicates real-world UAM operations by integrating digital twin technology and AI and enhances safety based on numerous data analyses and simulation. As for SK Telecom, they showcase their telco-specific large language model that's used in various services such as their virtual chatbot assistant. Then what about domestic startups or some smaller companies? So this year, the Korea Trade Investment Promotion Agency opened up a joint booth for domestic firms and organizations with the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy. And this year's participants from South Korea was its largest yet, with many startups and SMEs taking part. Eight public institutions joined forces with the government to support Korean companies as one, so 118 startups and SMEs are promoting at MWC under the same brand, Korea. AI is a running theme for many of the firms at the joint booth, and a domestic startup called Hyodol, offering AI companionship for the elderly, was awarded the 2024 Global Mobile Awards in the Best Mobile Innovation for Connected Health and Wellbeing category. Now, with the event gathering so many firms together from around the world, were there any interactions between them? So the MWC brands itself as an event where technology, communities and commerce converge. And this year, the government and firms did exactly that. SK Telecom is collaborating with four other global telecommunications firms from Germany, Saudi Arabia, Singapore and Japan to develop a joint LLM and other AI-related services.
South Korea is also one of 10 countries alongside the United States, Australia and Japan that signed a joint statement outlining principles for the research and development of sixth generation wireless communication systems. One of the principles is the promotion of national security protection capabilities with safe and resilient technology. All right, Hedan, thank you so much for that comprehensive coverage today. It was my pleasure. Thank you for having me.